Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Uh, thank you again for being here. Let's jump into this. Thank you Lord God for blessing Cancer with a clear and concise message from you. All links are below again. All right. I don't know why I was prompted to say that. Anyhow. Okay. So, Cancer, this is a very specific message for some of you. Um, I'm going to run through the cards. Okay. Um, what you have here uh, as the situation for this week is the Nine of Wands. The Five of Coins is the advice. The outcome is the Hermit card. Um, okay. For some of you, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor's card. Okay. All right. For some of you, um, you're tired of doing whatever it is you do. You want to start something new. You want to have either a new business, um, or business has slowed down. Um, some of you definitely want to start something new or start maybe a side hustle or turn something that you do as a hobby into you want it to make money for you. You want to monetize this thing. Some of you, it's lack of confidence here in terms of actually um, feeling like you can do it. Because the five of pentacles being your advice, it says that um, you just don't have the confidence to move forward. Some of you, it's confidence in terms of knowledge, know, the know-how. Uh, the wherewithal some of you it's money you're not confident in your money uh, in terms of how much money you can put into uh, this new thing this new investment some of you you just keep looking at this this new thing or, or you have the idea of it but you're just not sure of how to bring it about um, you're here you know that you need to do something. You know that you, you want to do something with the Nine of Wands, but you are not actually doing it because of lack of confidence. The uh, Five of Pentacles says that uh, once you let that energy set into your mindset, that lack mentality, then it's going to be hard to come out of it. So um, don't let it rest with you. Gain knowledge, save money, get the confidence. Confidence comes because you know to know something or, or to have knowledge of you can actually move in it or move on it And it says the outcome will be the hermit card You need to sit with yourself by yourself and look at past experience in terms of uh, How to move forward how to come out of this energy of solitude? Um, gaining knowledge again. This talks about personal philosophy on things um, some of you study too long study study long study wrong right some of you just are inactive because the the nine of ones talks about maybe even a period of inaction for like nine months or something like nine days or something where you you just are not moving and it's because of confidence a confidence level um some of you also yeah it's confidence here okay you're just not confident in in starting something new uh, but it says that you are the empress you can actually do this it can actually work for you and not against you um you can create you are abundant and it's something that you'll be creating from the bottom you know or from from the bottom to the top um from nothing to something okay this could talk about new business new relationship new job definitely in a creative endeavor it says that this is the first stages of creation but you, you're not very confident in it if this is love for some of you in which it is the nine of ones talks about um it being a rocky relationship uh, somebody's too focused on the past and what transpired in the past to actually move in the present 
someone is asking themselves is this, is this worth fighting for is this worth continuing with the nine of wands here as the situation there's also an energy of um this could have been a relationship without status without a title it could have been non-committal it could have been off and on it could have been hot and cold there was big explosions here um there was one time when you both two to the two of you were very intimate um you you spent a lot of time together you were vulnerable you, there's a level of comfortability now there isn't there's space and then that space and that distance there is opportunity says the cards the advice being the five of pentacles um Again, letting that lack mentality, mentality set in to where you are inactive. You're doing something. You, I mean, you're not doing anything. You're not taking action here because somebody's too focused on what was, what happened. Um, someone is content with watching the other or there's an energy of watching and stalking and, and waiting in the wind uh, to, to be moved here. The Five of Pentacles talks about... Um, There's an energy where maybe somebody felt used. They felt neglected. Um, maybe even ignored or they're feeling that now. Because there is an energy of separation. You two are not together. Maybe because it was non-committal, it was off and on, it was hot and cold. Uh, I mean, there could have been so much, so much that went on in terms of this relationship. The advice is the five of pentacles. Don't let that energy of not knowing and and not taking action and being uncertain. Don't let it set in your heart space. Because if it does, it's going to be hard to get out of that and actually move or make a move or to um, to allow anyone else back into your heart space too. The outcome is the hurling card. Definitely separation. I don't know if somebody's being ghosted or just there's inaction here. Somebody is inactive. Someone is sitting with themselves. Someone is lonely. Someone is depressed. Someone is thinking of what to do. Someone is looking for answers outside of themselves. But it says the answer is truly within you. You need to look at past experience and how you've dealt with things or how you have not dealt with things. Somebody needs a complete transformation of their own personal philosophy of how they engage with others. Someone needs to have knowledge of self before they actually want, before they actually do come together with anybody. And specifically with this person that they are pining over. This could be you, Cancer, or another energy. Um, th this is specific for some of you because at the bottom of the deck we have the Empress card and when we keep pulling we pull the Emperor card and then we keep pulling we pull the Star card and then we keep pulling and we pull the Chariot so this is definitely you and maybe um, uh, an Aquarius with the Star card there's a masculine and a feminine energy so this could have been a very um, important relationship in your life it could have been to where you guys were playing house playing husband wife um, because there was no real commitment here with the nine of wands um, or somebody couldn't get it together but there is an energy of somebody wanting to come back together wanting to get back on the right path wanting to heal this connection somebody feels like someone is their north star is their saving grace is their hope Somebody wants to go in a new direction, a positive direction. They want to steer this relationship, you know, put it back, you know, back in motion, back in action. Uh, they want to take control here. There is a lot of love between the two of you. There's also a lot of, um, I heard, unforgiveness. Somebody needs to learn learn about themselves firstly before they want a relationship with a specific person place or thing somebody has to overcome obstacles and the obstacle that is their self that is 
the good and the bad of themselves here in order to come back together with their divine masculine and divine feminine. Somebody needs to learn control. Um, they need to learn truth. Uh, the other person may need to learn compassion. Somebody needs to learn to maintain. Someone doesn't know how to maintain. Maintain a connection, a relationship, I don't know, but somebody needs to learn maintenance. That is what a relationship is. After you get in the relationship, everything is maintaining it, maintenance. Someone didn't do that. Someone thought it was just supposed to fall together or someone was supposed to fall in line, even there, even though there was no structure, no real um, status, title to the relationship. So now there is separation. Let me leave you with a monology card and then, um, yeah, leave you with a monology card. Yeah, wow. Be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. Okay, so maybe around your birthday, new moon, because you are a cardinal sign, Cancer. Um, you need to do something. You need to make a move because you're not doing anything. You're okay with resting in this energy of stalking and lurking um, and having lack of confidence. You need to make the first move and maybe start in a new business make the first move towards someone but before you do that you need to know about yourself you need to go somewhere and learn about you um, and why it didn't work in terms of you um, everybody has responsibility in a relationship in a business in a whatever um, so you need to figure out why and what you brought to the table or what didn't what didn't you do what did you do um, learn the part that you play all right, so let me leave you with, um, what is this? Uh, oh, that's my pillow. I'm like, what is moving in the camera? Um, this, these are the Sabila uh, fortune telling cards. Leave you with one of these. Let's see. Okay, yeah, pleasure seekers. Someone is definitely desire and has a deep desire to be back with, to have, to hold. Um, but you gotta ask yourself, what is your motive here? Is it just pleasure? Um, some of you are going after something just because of. Okay, Cancer, this has been your reading. Thank you for being here. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. All links are below. You can donate to the channel. You can also get your own personal reading by clicking, by going to the website. You can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. No other number. You can text uh, another scam artist out there. You can't get a reading. I don't approach anybody for a reading. So if you've been approached in the comment section, it's not me. Um, thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.